quick single, direct hit needed. Missed Jimin Blackwood. Very quick along the ground, gathered cleanly and had a shy. This would have been quite close. Would have been out by some way. Just needed to hit Jimin Blackwood. What a delivery that is by Jason Holder. Full, straight. Holder's gone to one day mode. Full, straight. You miss, I hit. What a shot from Dan Lawrence. There's some intent. Fantastic shot by Lawrence. He's come out. Young man. Early in his career, he does like to score. Good, strong, muscular hit. And this is a sort of ingenuity that England will need for some time yet this morning to push that total to where they need it. <laughs> Dan Lawrence. Come to my side, and that side happens to be the offside for him today. Joe Root's 24th Test Match 100. His third as a number three. Joe Root leading from the front. Loses his Alice band. But gains the respect once again of all of the travelling fans here and just as importantly of his team back there in the dressing room who are very happy to sit and watch him lead. Straight away, the reverse get sweep on, comes into play and straight away it's a boundary for Dan Lawrence. That's really good from him. Catch it! Good footwork from uh, Dan Lawrence. Not only that, good striking as well. Predicting the line of attack, getting himself into a great position. That's not an easy shot to play. He's played it consummately well. So 11 from the over, 294 for two. Oh dear, well, it's been a bright and brisk innings from Dan Lawrence. He's done everything he can just quoted to backward point where very Sammy Pomo took a very simple catch in the end. That's what just across the across the angle of Ben Stokes, but he's played it very nicely. Not a bad first delivery, a little bit of away swing from the left-hander. If you need a pitch to find your runs both as individuals and as a team, this is Exactly that pitch. Bowl him. This time it's uh, Joe Root trying to manufacture something. He goes just too far across. And he's picked up the bonus here of his sharply in swinging, reverse swinging ball that's knocked back the leg stump. Off spinner. Basically an off spinner from Roach. It goes high in the sky. And Shamar Brooks makes the catch look very easy indeed. Judged it absolutely perfectly. And a lot of that is down to the way that uh, Kemar Roach just took the pace off the ball. Easy catch in the end for Shamar Brooks. Knocked him over. That is out. No doubt whatsoever there. This one is fine. Gets to the boundary. Despite the field of being positioned in the deep. Fortunately, this time he's dragged it down short. Donny Bairstow turns it round the corner. 
Another boundary, a welcome boundary again for England. And oh, he's declared. Here we go. England captain has declared. Johnny Bairstow doesn't know yet. Neither does Chris Wokes. Neither does the West Indian team. So there will be a, a rush from Craig Brathwaite to get off the field along with John Campbell to get their pads on. And England giving themselves 10, 12, 10, 12 minutes at the West Indies before lunch. Outside of some huge appeal, though. Not interested. Competently played on the front foot, John Campbell. And that should be lunch on the final day of this first test match. The West Indies did what they would have wanted to do. They've seen off those four overs without any casualties. In the air, loose shot, t almost taken, Zach Crawley got his hands on it, wasn't able to hold on, but an injudicious shot, I must say, from John Campbell in the 13 without loss. Gosh. In the air, over the top, deliberate you know, from Craig Brathwit. gets his first boundary if not altogether convincing, effective. Yes! In the air, and once again over the top, just, only just, and Ben Stokes might have thought that he was in with an opportunity, but the wind just taking it over the head. No! Campbell has a swipe again. Stokes goes back, but won't get there. Nice. Extraordinary, the approach that West Indies are taking at the moment, are, are leading us to believe that they're going for these. It's also being reckless, and that is a beautiful shot. As a left-handed batsman, Mark Butcher, must look at that in delight. Another big shout, and given this time, he's going to review it. You just know he's going to review it. Wow, he's not. Oh, Craig Brathwit, that might be worth the review just might be worth a review. Catch. This could be it, yes. Yeah. Overton, the tall man that is Craig Overton, had the height there to get his hands on the ball. This one is swept away, just a little bit of drift down the leg side, actually very nicely put away by Shamar Brooks. Nice controlled sweep shot. Jack Leach just continued to peg away. Oh yes, what a catch that is from Crawley. That is a sharp chance, beautifully taken. Yes, such a timely blow on the cusp of that T interval. Excellent catch, tall man having to go down low but what a wonderful effort from Zach Crawley ah! big shout that's a terrible shot Blackwood reviews and if he hasn't hit it I don't see Video, how that's um, not out Greg. ball jacking coming up pitching in line in pack in line Rick is hitting can we go back to Greg on field? Greg, can you stay with your out decision? You on screen now, signal. Four runs to Nkuma Bana. Test match selection, but a fantastic shot there. Stokes again going for the short ball. 
theory. But Bonner has been so good in this test match. Oh, oh my word. Holy smokes. <laughs> How close was that? <laughs> Talk about Bonner's and turn from the man you'd least expect to do that. Good seam position. Good rotation off the ball. Very close to that off stump. Beats him. Diving effort from Joe Root, but well timed. Oh, Elegant up. from Jason Holder. Yeah, it's a nice shot. Fair enough. Nicely played. It's full toss, just a little over pitch from Dan Lawrence. Too easy for Enkuma Bona with length boundary. Total 25. Close, 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 yes. I think there might have been a little tickle. So does he. Oh, Joe Edge coming up. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yes, the spike as the ball is next to the bat, so therefore there's bat involved. Can we go back to Joel on field? You have to change your decision from out to not out. You're on screen now, signal. Never turn another one. Excellent shot from Enkuma Bona from top of the bounds and in the gap. Gets himself his sixth four of the innings. It's a process. A huge shout might be off the boot. Remember, England, they don't have a review. And Gregory Bartwett would have wanted to converse again with Joel Wilson. He might be off the boot, but another excellent catch in that slip region. Yeah, there's a gap between the bat and the ball. The bat did beat contact with the ground, but there's a, there's a gap between bat and ball. Yes, I'm sad. Keep it next frame, next frame. Yeah, there. there's no contact with the bat and the ball. The bat did make contact with the ground. So I have my decision for the big screen, which is not out for the big screen, not out. Not out, the decision from the third umpire. Classical. And Kuma Bonner gets himself another boundary, helps himself to a four through the offside. Well pushed. Good enough timing to get to the boundary. And from Jason Holder. Shot. This will be another boundary. Not where Bonner would have wanted it, but he'll take it. 147 for four. Yeah, I think Bonner and Jason Holder have earned that red dot. It will be quite unfortunate for either of them if they don't get... I think they're shaking hands now. And so they have remained not out at the very end. Joe Root, as well as the West Indian batsmen, have decided to call it a day. It has been a hard fought test match all the way through. Both teams being put under pressure and then fighting their way through, putting themselves in match winning position. But at the end of it all, the match is drawn. As Ian Bishop always says, that in itself is a result. A draw is a result.